What's up, everybody? We are doing a series on John Wayne Gacy, the killer clown. John Wayne Gacy has been given a lot of attention uh, since his crime spree. You can buy toys, you can buy miniatures, you can buy uh, snow globes, uh, you name it, um, it's available. John Wayne Gacy, like a lot of the serial killers that were major serial killers and kind of famous, uh, Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, many people like him. A lot of these guys are romanticized in the media and they just look like a clown, right? Up here is uh, Pogo the Clown and you see, you see Gacy behind me. But when you really dig deep into their crimes, um, they're not really that friendly or they should not be romanticized and John Wayne Gacy is one of those guys He's a monster that appears as a clown um, We're gonna be joined in a little bit with a friend of mine. His, his Instagram is visits with Gacy and His name is James and I think you're gonna like him He's gonna share a lot of insight into John Wayne Gacy. He spent um, he, he met with John Wayne Gacy 11 times And he's gonna share a lot of insight into Gacy that maybe you don't know about but this is kind of how Gacy is portrayed in the media. This is a, these are a couple of magazine covers of John Wayne Gacy. Um, you know, uh, either he's the scary clown or a, a harmless clown. This is Pogo the clown, and these are drawn by Chuck Hody. Um, some nice drawings of John Wayne Gacy, and you see right above me here his painting of uh, Pogo the clown, which is his infamous painting. But this is really more what John Wayne Gacy looks like. I mean, having little boys tied up, and, and it's a, he's a lot more darker than the media portrays him as. So hopefully today you're gonna learn something. I'm gonna take you deep into the John Wayne Gacy world, and I'm gonna talk to you about just some of the things that have to do with him. I'm gonna show you lots of images, and uh, I've got lots of pieces from his his cell and his artwork and, and things that you may have never seen before. We're also gonna talk about his life a little bit. And then in a little bit, we'll bring in James Sparks visits with Gacy and he'll talk to us really the inside scoop. Like what is it like to meet with John Wayne Gacy 11 times? So hopefully at the end of this three part series, you will learn something about John Wayne Gacy, maybe learn something about crime prevention, okay? Um, I got the facts here and I'll kind of run through the, the John Wayne Gacy was born in March 17th, 1942. Um, he is Polish. And where does Pogo come from? The name Pogo? Pogo stands for Polish and on the go. Pogo. Okay. I'm Polish. I have a lot in common with John Wayne Gacy. I'm Polish as well. And we have similar upbringings, him and I. Similar fathers and similar dysfunction. John Wayne Gacy he had a father who was an alcoholic. Um, he was a he was a, he belittled John his entire life. This is their boyhood home where they grew up in Illinois. Uh, just a very basic uh, small brick home. Here's John Wayne Gacy's father and him and his sister. In that picture, John Wayne Gacy doesn't look real happy. His father was a raging alcoholic, died of a liver problem due to alcoholism. This is uh, Gacy's parents mom and dad um all of these images will be scanned and put in my fan club my patreon so if you want a really good copy of all these images they're all going to be scanned and available for you his father blew him his entire life called them names like stupid dumb sissy f queer he also called him fruit picker also called him mama's boy so never accepted john john wayne gacy would rather be uh spending time with his mother in the kitchen then with his dad doing doing guy things uh early on john wayne gacy had a penchant for women's underwear and panties so uh he had, he had been caught a couple times with panties in his bedroom seven years old at seven years old him and another boy are caught fondling another a young girl got him in trouble and not long after that around seven years old a family friend would take him in a truck to take him to construction sites and would molest him. So we're not saying if you're molested or belittled by your father that you should be a serial killer, but it does happen and it is quite a common upbringing of serial killers who've been belittled, abused, molested, 
you know, that is, is a common theme. So yeah, so at 11 years old, John Wayne Gacy is knocked unconscious by a swing. It causes lots of physical problems for him in his life. And he's not able to play sports and do things that other boys do because he has this physical problem. Here's a picture of him and his brother and sister. Um, he looks pretty happy there. Doesn't mean he is happy, but he looks happy. This is another more grim photo of Gacy uh, as a young boy in a suit. <laughs> a lot of people use a photo of John Wayne Gacy and it's a little round, tubby little boy. That's not him. It, that's a false photo. Uh, that is not what he looked like as a kid. John Wayne Gacy with a dog growing up. He's still young. Uh, here he is in front of an automobile. Again with his uh, family members. Almost looks like he looks like at the time of his arrest. He's getting a little older. <clears throat> here he is probably on his way to church in a white suit. Maybe it's a communion or something special. And he is a teenage, full-blown teenager now with this, with this pet. John Wayne Gacy loved animals. So a lot of people try to put everybody in the same category. Like, you know, all serial killers kill, you know, torture animals, wet the bed and all this stuff. That's not true. Serial killers are very different. They're all very different, okay? So after Gacy gets knocked unconscious at the age of 11, he has lots of issues physically growing up. Uh, but at the age of 18, he's now a teenager, right about this age here that we just saw there. He is now starting to get involved in politics. Um, he is probably trying to please his father, and he's trying to get involved in politics. At the age of 20 years old, him and his dad have a dispute over a vehicle. His dad took the carburetor off or, you know, the um, uh, he took the wiring off or something, the distributor cap. But anyways, he fled to Vegas. This is a picture of John Wayne Gacy around 20 years old in Las Vegas, okay? At this point, Gacy is, let me see if I can get a better picture of his face for you. John Wayne Gacy is now working at a funeral home. Here's the first sign of trouble. Gacy working at a funeral home. Uh, he sleeps on a cot right near the morgue. And one night he crawls into the casket and gets involved with a dead little boy. That shook him and he left Vegas. It really messed him up. He left Vegas and moved back to Chicago. He got a job, he went to some schooling, got a job at a shoe store, bounced around with the shoe store, uh, transferred to Springfield, Illinois. Um, he was doing very well and he gets married and he marries a beautiful woman. And he's a good, dapper looking young man himself. So John Wayne Gacy is now married and he has a son and a daughter and he now lives in Iowa. He moves to Iowa and his wife's father owns KFC restaurants. So John Wayne Gacy is now KFC manager. He's got a wife, he's got two children. He's running for president of the JCs. Life is good. Not only is it good, his father comes out to Iowa and tells John Wayne Gacy, I'm proud of you. Something he'd been hoping to get his whole life. Uh, in my case, I have a very similar upbringing, very similar father. My father has never said he's proud of me. So in that aspect, John Wayne Gacy is doing better than me at that point. So here's where things start going south for Gacy. He, um, he had some homosexual experiences in Iowa and this is before and after he married his wife and had two kids. And he would say he's bisexual. Um, he, he, he opened up a club in his basement at his house so he would invite the KFC. He would, he would like to hire young boys to work at KFC and he would, he would have a, invite them over to his basement of his home and he would have a club and the boys would hang out in his basement. I don't know what they did, drank, played pool, whatever they did. And um, so, you know, he's got some weird things going on. He's, he's really on top of the world. He's probably making good money. He's got a good job. He's got a wife. His dad approves him. Everything is good except for 
Boom. All of a sudden, we have a sodomy charge. In 1968. So 67, 68, Gacy's 25, 26 years old. He assaults Donald Voorhees. He's a 15-year-old boy, uh, the son of a fellow JC. And it, it, the story was he was running for president against the, 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 the Voorhees' father. And um, his excuse was he was set up. You know, he didn't do that, or it was consensual, or something like that. He then continues to molest several boys in Iowa. Finally, it catches up to him. He gets caught, arrested. One of the earliest uh, arrest photos of John Wayne Gacy. And John Wayne Gacy is now arrested. And he is headed to the big house. Anamosa State Prison. He is charged, found guilty and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Now imagine that. You're on top of the world. How do you mess that up? But he does. And he gets sent to Anamosa State Prison. He's facing 10 years. He, I guess he makes the best of it. When he gets there, he becomes the head chef. He does interviews for the news as the head chef. John Wayne Gacy, the head chef. I like this right here. This is his name tag. He's first cook. Gacy gets involved in the church choir. He gets involved in church in Anamosa. He's a model inmate. He's smart. He does everything he needs to do. And the end of the story is he gets released and paroled after 18 months. Now think about this. If the system would really work and he would have been sentenced and stayed in prison for 10 years, none of these crimes would have happened. Would he have done it when he still got out? I don't know, but I'm just saying, why do you send a guy for 10 years and let him out after 18 months? I don't know why. While he's incarcerated, his father dies. John Wayne Gacy is not allowed to go to the funeral. He is totally broken, down, broken up. He is totally devastated. He, he, he folds in tears and, you know, um, very bad situation. He collapses. He collapses, sobbing. Uh, probably never got over that. Uh, it stayed with him forever. Is that a part of the puzzle? Probably. And so he's paroled after 18 months. He moves back to Chicago. And with his mother, John Wayne Gacy buys a house. Okay? He buys a house on Summerdale. Right? Summerdale, the famous address of Summerdale. <laughs>